obviously you've been in a lot of these situations in your entire career at Indiana with needing multiple wins down the stretch of the season to, to kind of make a run at the NCAA tournament, uh, much like this year. Uh, how can you kind of rely on some of those past experiences you've had and maybe flip, flip the script this year and, and make a late season run? Um, I'd say the biggest thing is not dwelling on the past or anything. So just focus. I mean, if we want to make an NCAA tournament, we know games are going to be back to back. So you got to focus one game at a time and just take it a game at a time and just make sure we're always locked in and believe what coach is telling us. Zach. I guess, Rob, as you think back to the way you guys defended Purdue, um, you know, they present a lot of different challenges offensively. They can score a lot of different ways. You know, what do you feel like from what you did against them the first time you played them this season can travel up there when you are on the road? It's obviously a, a difficult environment in the Mackey. Uh, I say the biggest thing is blowing up their actions. I felt like we did a really good job of pushing their catches out where the wings, they, um, I mean, if they're making entry passes to the bigs, they were all the way out closer to like where the volleyball usually is. So just blowing up their offense and um, try to get them out of the sets so they can't run run things with the pace they usually run with. Evan. Hi, Rob. Uh, you guys have had a few tough losses down the stretch um, and late in games. Um, what do you, you think you, you guys need to do to you know put away those games and execute down the stretch? Uh, it's definitely the little things. I mean, after each each one of those losses, we watch film on like the last six, seven minutes of the game. And it's always little things where one guy either he messes up a play where he doesn't uh, the timing's messed up on offense where we don't execute the right plays or it's little things on defense where like in the first half we executed the right way, but they run the same play and then we mess up in the second half. So I would say the little details are just toning in on the things that we need to do. Alex. Hey, Rob, thanks for the time. Curious what kind of the, the mood of the team is following the, the tough loss the other night, and how do you feel like you guys have, have bounced back these, these last couple of days? Oh, uh, no, we've definitely bounced back. I mean, everyone knows what position we're in. Um, you know, this the game tomorrow is a must win. And I mean, honestly, we just had a pretty good uh, speech right before I came here with like a hype up speech before we went out. So everyone is good spirit, uh, spirit. It's right now, I'm really just looking forward to going to Mac and get a win tomorrow. Mike Pegram. Hey, Rob, do you ever you guys talk about how you're good enough to get these nice leads in the game? It's just a matter of, you know, finishing. But is there something that you guys can hang your hat on that you, you've had these big leads and you've had a level of play that should be good enough? Yeah. Uh, like, again, I think it's defense because I feel like, we always do a really good job in the first half, maybe the first 30 minutes of the game on defense. And then once those last 10 minutes of the game go on, we we don't execute our coverages like we need to. And they they actually, I feel like they're scoring, teams are scoring a lot better like the last 10 minutes of the game. So whether it's talking on defense when guys are getting tired or just making sure guys are in the right spots on rotation and everything, I feel like if we do that, we'll, we'll finish games off. Okay, the last question I have is Tyler Tackman. Hey, Rob, I hope you're doing well. Um, you just mentioned the speech that you guys had. If, as much as you want to share from that, uh, who is it that talked and kind of what was the message? Uh, it was actually Ray Tolbert. He just came in and talked to us. So um, he was just saying how um, just listening to Coach Woodson and just the things that he accomplishments here, whether it's uh, coming from a leadership standpoint with the players and everybody and just staying together, um, just blocking out the noise and standing together and just being one team. He feel like that's the biggest thing we need to do right now is stay together and believe in each other.